I'm becoming increasingly uncomfortable with mobile games that do this kind of thing. You can see it too, right? All those scantily clad ladies not doing a lot in their respective games. Now for any trolls out there, before you race to the comments and write something terrible that will get you insta-banned, let me explain that I'm not against the idea of sexy women being in video games. Not at all. As a heterosexual guy, I'm all for sexy ladies. I love them, they're fantastic, they make the world a brighter, happier, sexier place, and there's plenty of sexy ladies in video games that, without them existing, the world of interactive entertainment would be so much smaller. You've got Bayonetta, then there's Shepard from Mass Effect, and Aveline de Grand Prix from Assassin's Creed Liberation, and there's many, many more besides them. But what I'm noticing more and more is the use of female characters whose only reason for existing is to provide eye candy. Take Ubisoft's new game, Driver Speedboat Paradise. The guys in it aren't exactly the deepest characters in the world. You've got your agent, AJ, who sets up deals for you with sponsors, then there's undercover cop Tanner, who's out to bust a drug smuggling ring, and Lam Sung, who looks all shady and stuff. Notice the suits and t-shirts, see how the character motivation is integral to the advancement of the admittedly thin plot. So what do you think, by contrast, most of the women are wearing, and what do you think most of their roles are? In the game you earn fans. These fans are, from what I can tell and what I've seen so far, sexy ladies in skimpy outfits, who you earn through winning races, buying a big house filled with lots of cool things, and chatting them up with creepy one-liners. They're all wearing sexually suggestive clothes too, certainly much more than any of the men are wearing. Now all the characters here are shallow, and that's fine, because this is a technically solid arcadey racer, and you don't need much in the way of rich personalities when the core game is about racing high-powered speedboats. But what we have here is another example of women, by and large, being relegated to simply existing as a prize to be won, a shiny sexy bauble that sits next to the sweet new pool table you've just splashed out on. I'm not for a second suggesting that deliberately titillating games shouldn't exist, titles where sexuality is a specifically chosen theme and openly explored are all well and good, but when it's a game that's ostensibly about racing boats around sunny shorelines, the use of sexy ladies as prizes feels inauthentic, hollow, and to me personally, it feels demeaning. And it's not just from a it places women on the sidelines point of view, it makes guys look stupid too, because 100%, the inclusion of attractive, conquerable women with zero personality in Driver Speedboat Paradise is for straight males, because the developer thinks we are easily manipulated, because it thinks we only think with one brain, which isn't in our head, and that that brain will make us spend money on in-app purchases to get to the sexy picks faster. Even the clothes you unlock in the game are for use by men and not women, suggesting that the racer, ergo the player, is a man. It's an odd decision to make a mobile game for a specific type of boob slavering bro when the gender demographic for iOS and Android gaming is about a 50-50 split between guys and girls. So I reached out to Ubisoft for a comment and a member of the development team noted that, quote, The characters in Driver Speedboat Paradise were designed to be exaggerated and over the top and are themed around a cliched speedboat racing and mafia story. In terms of the fans mechanic, both male and female fans were designed from the start to be larger than life characters with some more difficult to win over than others. Female characters also play a key role in a player's progression. For instance, a female mechanic guides the player during the opening sequences, and women feature throughout the game as some of the bosses the player will have to challenge in each location. So perhaps later on in the game I'll start to see female characters that are a little more active in the story, like the mechanic, but to the point about the game having male fans, I should say that I've been playing for a fair few hours now, and all of them so far have been women, all of them in little more than twine, and none of the locked ones have silhouettes that look anything like a man. Now, Driver Speedboat Paradise isn't the only mobile game to treat women as objects like this, not by a long shot, and it is currently in soft launch, which means that the contents of the game currently available in the New Zealand App Store are subject to change. It's just recently we've seen so many examples of games doing exactly what Driver Speedboat Paradise is doing, at least in its opening hours, that I thought, let's open this question up to our community and see what they think. So, now you've heard my side of things, what's your take? Are games that portray women in this way sexist? Let me know in the comments.